Hi guys, it's Shell, Heart of It All Custom Creations. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button to see future videos. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So today I'm going to do another snow globe tumbler, um, the sublimation one, and um, kind of show all the process that I do, including the sublimation. So <clears throat> first thing I'm doing is taking it out of the box. And this is like um, double wrapped if that makes sense so i put everything back into the box um the place that i got these from no longer has these but i did find a place that has these same ones um and i did put that in the description box below so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna measure um around and how tall this uh, even though it is a 20 ounce the dimensions are a little bit like skinnier than your typical sublimation tumbler. So I do believe I did the dimensions of 7.75 by 7.5. And I'm not worried about the bottom because you're not even really going to see it. Which I don't typically sublimate the bottom of my tumblers anyway but anyway so I did find an image on creative fabrica that I really liked and um so I downloaded that and I'm just going to go ahead and clean off the tumbler with some alcohol and print I printed out my image and I'm going to go ahead and just trim three sides of this I have started leaving the fourth side untrimmed because um it's just easier to overlap it. So the first thing I do is turn up the tumbler upside down. Because of that little lip, I need to make sure to get the image in there. And then I wrap it around and then take it all the way down to the bottom and tape it. And I go around it a couple times holding you know, trying to get all the air out and make sure that it is nice and even and tight. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tape the bottom. Taping the um, top was a little bit trickier because of that lip that is there, but I get it as close as I possibly can and go around um, making sure that that tape is tight. And um, one more piece of tape down the middle. Now this one, because it is skinnier, will not fit in the, the silicone um, sleeves that I use. So I did just go ahead and put this in. I did um, two rounds of two and a half minutes and um, my convection oven. And then when it's nice and hot, I bring it out and bring take off the tape. And look at this, there's hardly any ink left on that paper, but you can still see it, but I don't know, I think that's even pretty by itself. But I am obsessed with this image on this tumbler. And what I wanted to do was possibly glow in the dark stars on this, so I wanted to see if it'd work. So I'm gonna go ahead, I mixed up about five milliliters of um, epoxy, and I'm gonna place it down in that lip so that we can put the cover on and um, that epoxy will harden and seal. So I just spin the tumbler around making sure to get the epoxy in that lip and then I will clean up any spill that there might be.
So the next morning, I did place some water in here, leave it in for a few hours, just to make sure that that was actually sealed, and it was. So it was time to mix up the water, distilled water, and the magic liquid solution. And I'm also gonna mix up with these glow stars from Glitter Heart Co. Heavenly by Peachy Olive Glitters, and it's a really pretty silvery, holographic, chunky mix. And then, of course, I'm just going to use these white chunky that I got from Dollar Tree forever ago. And that's all I'm going to put in. I did not want to put too much glitter in because I still wanted to be able to see not only the glow-in-the-dark stars, but the image behind it as well. So this time... I am placing a little bit of the mixture into the tumbler first before I put the glitter. Um, I'm hoping to eliminate as many air bubbles by doing this as possible. I'm going to go ahead and fill up the rest. I am using a paper towel to kind of anything that spilled over it to kind of sop it up. And then I'm going to tilt this so that the air bubble goes to where the hole is and um, get that air to escape and put more liquid in. I want as little as an air bubble as possible. Once I'm satisfied with how filled up it is, I am going to let this sit for several hours so that any bubbles can come up and um, I'll be able to kind of top it off with the liquid. So once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and clean the bottom of this tumbler with um, alcohol to get any um, grease or dust or anything off just so that when we go to put the glitter butt on it, it is nice and adhered. So I'm gonna use um, this glue dot to cover up that hole and make sure that I get it down nice and secure. And I wanted to do the bottom, not in the same glitters that I used, but in a coordinating color that looks that would look good with this. So um, I am going to use, I want to say this is Oath. I think I do show you, but it is by Peachy Olive Glitters and it is such a pretty uh, glitter. It's almost like a blue, green, purple shift. I don't know. So I am gonna use um, UV resin again and um, mix the glitter right into the UV resin.
I'm gonna go ahead and pour that all over the bottom and then spread that out to the sides, uh, making sure that this is even as possible. I do this for a while, um, the UV light, do one more clear coat over top, hit it with the UV light, and this is done. So now was the moment of truth to see if the glow stars would actually glow. And I like that I did not have too much glitter in this, but I'm loving how this turned out. So I grab my UV thing, and I can tell that it's going to glow, but I needed to find someplace dark. So this is what it looks like in the dark. And I am obsessed. I'm so glad that this worked out. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a great big thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye guys.